What up guys? Mike in the Woods here, out here in Altona Forest in Pickering, Ontario. And today I'm bringing you something a little bit special, something a little unique. I designed and 3D printed my very own sling bow. And we'll check this out in a sec, but before I do, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below to appease the YouTube algorithm overlords. For those of you who don't know, I am very heavily into 3D printing, and I actually have an online 3D print shop, link in the description. Uh, in the background of some of my videos, you'll probably have seen my 3D printers. For me, 3D printers offer unlimited possibilities for a great many things, and they're essentially manufacturing machines on a personal scale. One of the many ideas I've had is to design my very own sling bow for use in my bug out bag and my inch bag. And if you don't know what a sling bow is, it's essentially a slingshot that has been modified to fire arrows. Yeah, that was a miss. For me, it was critical to design one that was modular so that I could remove the arrow guide as needed and swap back and forth between a normal slingshot and a sling bow. This modularity makes the sling bow multi-purpose, being able to fire arrows, steel shot, marbles, pebbles, and really anything that's dense enough to be used as a worthwhile projectile. And when it comes to a bug out bag or crap hit the fan scenario, being able to use found ammo is very useful. The modularity also lets me design new components or redesign old ones without affecting the other parts. For instance, right now the grip is rather bulky and heavy, and I have plans to replace it with something more skeletonized to drop down the weight and save space. I also might design a three band yoke for a far more powerful draw. I haven't actually used it against any live targets yet as I don't have a hunting license, but I have tested out the capabilities of it and so far it seems to do exactly what it was designed to do. I mean, I don't think I'm taking out deer with this thing, but any small animal is fair game. I probably over-engineered the design of the yoke. With a thick yoke and reinforced rear ridge behind it, the current design can take a tremendous amount of pull. In future revisions, I could probably shave off a considerable amount of weight without sacrificing the integrity of it, considering it's solid plastic. For regular slingshot use, I also think the two yoke sides are a little too close together. It doesn't happen too frequently, but occasionally, especially if I have large or irregular shaped pebbles or something else for ammo, the round will strike the edge of the yoke and ricochet off in an unintended direction. In a future revision, I'm going to widen the gap between the two band mounts. The grip, as I mentioned, is probably the biggest defender in size and weight. It's far larger than it needs to be, and at the time I was designing it, I just repurposed an old heavy-duty foregrip I designed for Airsoft. Even with the hollowed-out center and a hole for a carabiner or a lanyard, there's a lot of weight savings I can make with a slimmer and cut-down grip. Nice. Overall though, the slingbow does exactly what I needed to. While I am not the most accurate with the dang thing, I am a lot more accurate than I thought I'd be, and the shots fly in the direction they're supposed to in a consistent manner. I'm very happy that I got that part right the first time around. Now I just need to practice. All right guys, and that was some footage of my 3D printed sling bow. Thanks for watching, and like I said at the beginning of the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. As a matter of fact, I plan on doing a lot more 3D printed items on my channel, so if you have any ideas for 3D printed gear, whether it be stuff other people have made or stuff you want me to design from scratch, suggest it down below in the comments section because you're going to see a lot more unique 3D printed content combined with outdoors on this channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you next week.